Hi, I'm Pat Sagsman. Welcome to another Geek Moment video. Today we're going to talk about the IMP005 wireless transceiver module. This is created, uh, it was a partnership between Electric Imp and Murata. This is about a 10 by 10 millimeter little package. Uh, this is going to be used to help in an end-to-end -end device setting. So basically if you've got a sensor or a proprietal piece of equipment that needs to get data to it, make a decision or send data up to you, this is, the, this is a good device to use. The way this device is configured is optically. There's a photo transistor on the top and this chip, when you uh, use either an iPhone or an Android device, there's an app. You can either go to iTunes or Google Play, download the app. We'll have links for this below. And uh, you can take your device, you just hold it right over the photo transistor and it will optically send all your data to configure this device. Now this device knows whether you're using WEP, WPA, or WPA2 security. It automatically knows that. So all you're going to need is your SSID and your password on your device when you do the blink up. And the way that this is going to work, um, first on the app there's a configure device. So you can either configure the device or clear device's settings, configurations. Um, the device, the AMP can only be configured to one wireless network at a time. So you choose to configure a device, and then from that you'll have a choice of wireless or Ethernet, because there is an Ethernet jack on here. We're not going to use this for today's purposes, but that is an option. Um, so once you configure it to the wireless, and then from there you add your Wi-Fi info, which is going to be your SSID and password. And then after that, you're going to get to the actual physical process of the blink up, which I'm about to demonstrate here. I'm going to hit the start blink up. Now it's important because this is literally optically transmitting data. Do not look at the surface when it's doing this. There will be a light or a sound. That it, it'll alert you that it's done. Mine blinks a light right now. It takes about 90 seconds or so, um, 90 seconds or less for this to configure a device. And uh, there's a little logo of the imp that uh, starts basically drawing the amp while it goes. And once the image is drawn, uh, that'll be the end of the configuration. Once the blink up has been performed, it's time to take a look at their IDE. Um, looking at this, uh, we can see here's a page where they have their models. Um, I only have one particular model in here. I've named it Hello World. I can go over to their Actions button, and they have a button for Code. I can go to see my actual IDE environment. There's a device pane and an agent pane. The device pane is going to be responsible for the actual IMP module, and the agent pane is going to be um, code written for their server for the IMP cloud to respond to this. When going through the kit to get started, uh, it's important to note this is the IMP005 breakout kit, not the IMP005 easy kit. So the hardware that would be on their getting started page to make the LED light up and turn off. We don't have that hardware on this kit, uh, so we won't be able to do, do that project right out of the box. You would have to connect some things with that. So for today's example, I just use the IP lookup, and if I go to my build and run, the code will be uh, linked on our EE Wiki page. I can see I've now sent, uh, sent this to be compiled. The chip has looked at what the IP address is send it back said the imp has IP address 192.168.2.170 and is connected via Wi-Fi. Um, I can see on my device setting here, device is online and my agent is online. So this device has now communicated with the imp cloud and sent back its IP address. Well, thank you for watching this video and remember that the uh, imp005 and the imp005 breakout, which will be that module with the integrated hardware, are available at digikey.com.